Hi guys, welcome back. This is Carolyn. In today's tutorial, we'll do something a little more fun and adventurous. So this is a practice that I've done in preparation for today's video. And we'll be doing on the theme of painting water ripples and all this really fun water with interesting colors. And then we have our flamingo here on top of the waters. So if you're running out of ideas on what to paint or you're just feeling uninspired and no, not even motivated to hold your brush at all, this would be a good tutorial or a just a good relaxation painting video for you to paint and follow along. There are no rules when painting this piece here. You can see that I've mixed in and threw in a lot of different colors from yellow, orange, red, all the way to blue. And yeah, when I was doing this, I just had lots of fun, lots of exploring going on without any rules. And see, we have all, all these fun splatters going on. So if you're feeling uninspired and need some juices, do paint along and join me. Let's start off with the paints. And for the waters here, you can see that I have used a lot of different colors. And this one here is orange. So I'll be using cadmium yellow orange. It's a very bright orange. And then for the red here, I'll be using alizarin crimson from Windsor and Newton. And next, we have some blues here. This is the turquoise blue. And I have cobalt turquoise light. This is a lighter turquoise color. And then we have marine blue, which is a darker turquoise. And then for the darker blue in this area, we'll be using Prussian blue. And to darken off a little more, I'll be mixing in a little bit of neutral tint into Prussian Blue to achieve these darker shadow areas. If you do not have the blues here, feel free to mix in or use the blues that you already have in your palette. Otherwise, the main colors that I'll be using is Turquoise, Prussian Blue, a little bit of neutral tint, and then we have the orange and red for the flamingo. And then looking into brushes, I'll be using two size 10. I have a size 10 and size 12 brush here for the large areas. And then for detailing, I'm using a synthetic brush of size 4. So here we'll be using three different brushes. And lastly, you can see that there are some white lines. So these are made with the use of masking fluid. We'll need this. And paper-wise, I have is Arches 300 GSM Cold Press 100% Cotton. And let's get started with the sketch. And I've gotten this reference photo of Pinterest. I wouldn't be following this exactly the same, but just getting out the overall shape of the flamingo. And I'll be drawing according to this one here and be using the ripples, the overall shape of the ripples in this picture. And to start off, I'm just going to draw out the basic outline of the flamingo this is the body and then we have the neck coming out like this some of the feathers coming out here and I might extend the legs 
to make it a little longer. have the ripple starting off here and then just draw it in like a half circle shape coming outwards and then here we can see can replicate some of that going outwards and then here we can see the shadow from the flamingo and it's painted and it has a darker shade and I'm going to draw this out There's two dots and I'll fill that in with the masking fluid. And I'm going to pull this out a little more up to where the tail ends. come up to about here and then extend it out a little bit for the neck Just like that and this will be the rough sketch okay and then next we will go in and apply this masking fluid and I have them around the areas here so let's do that it will be more on the outer areas where darker colors will be applied in the center we generally have it more light where all the highlights are and then darker colors as we move outwards so that's where I'll be applying the masking fluid. Sometimes I have them wriggle out and then coming out into the second line like this. Maybe just one more here. And not forgetting the legs. And now I'll add some on the outer line of the flamingo. 
And I think I'll add one more in the background, one more flamingo and just a very rough shape of the body and then let's leave this to dry for a few minutes and then we'll continue painting afterwards okay so this is all dry and we are ready to start painting and I'll be grabbing the size 12 brush and using this we'll be pre-wetting the water areas so I'll be avoiding this flamingo here and then wetting the whole area and with the masking fluid in place I do not need to worry about avoiding these gaps Make sure that all areas are well thoroughly wet and Let me just lift this up and see that all areas are covered Make sure that there's a good shine all right and now let's go in and start from the center and i would like to have it where the highlights is and get, grabbing some orange a very light watery orange and let's start from the center so we'll be going in brush strokes in curves following the lines of these curves here so just dropping in like this and I'll have it a little bit because the flamingo will have a bit of orange so we'll have that orange reflection over in the waters and then now going in mixing a little bit of Alizer in crimson and here is up to your creativity where you want to put the colors as long as you keep it below the flamingo where the reflection is mainly the orange and the red will be the reflected colors from the flamingo so have fun and play around where you like to have the colors placed now keep it mainly around here where the shadow is and then i'll have some areas darker you can see that i'm going in brush strokes this curved brush strokes let's do a little bit here Okay, and then now moving on to our light turquoise Here we have this flamingo in the background and while it's still wet I am going back to the orange and reds just a very loose shape
And you can see I get harsh edges here. So this shows that this area has already dry. And not to worry, we grab clean water and then blend it out. And with more pigments here, I'll darken this area with more lines. And areas where the masking fluid is, I'm going to just paint over it. And yeah, feel free to play around and see how your colors flow. And then now let's go on to marine blue. And I think I will darken this area here. around the flamingo because the flamingo will be a very light reddish color so I like the surrounding the background to be darker and that will give more contrast to our subject This is still pretty wet. I'll grab this synthetic brush and then splatter out just some clean water on top. This will help to give a bit of the salt-like effect. And then going in straight to Prussian Blue, I'm going to keep darkening this area. Moving on, I'm going to add neutral tint to my color to darken it a little bit more. And you can see that this layer has already dried out. Not to worry, if we have a spray bottle, I'll just grab mine and then spray it in. And this will keep it moist longer. And then let's do more splatters. So this one is just with clean water. I'm going to do another one with the colors. So I'm grabbing marine blue and then just a little bit here, around here. And let's do the same with red. So now the paper is starting to dry, you get these harsh edges around here forming. So it's time to let it dry on its own. And if you feel like there are areas that need more colors, not to worry, let's just leave this layer to dry and then we'll come back when it's dry later to apply the second layer. 
And to quicken the process, I'm going to use my hair dryer to dry this off. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm going to darken this area a little more. So I'm using neutral tint. And then let's paint in the shadows here. So I'm going to mix red with a bit of blue to get purple to get a bit of purple color. And then just following the pencil sketch that we did earlier, make sure to keep this watery. And then now I'm going to add a bit more turquoise into the mixture. And then more red. So it's up to you to play around for this reflection to go between red and blue and purple. bit of the neck coming out right now I've not right now let's add in some splatters some dry splatters I'm going to take a small piece of paper just to cover off here And then some turquoise. If you feel like it's too much, just wipe it off with a paper towel. And I'll probably add some on top. And I'm going to apply a bit of neutral tint for extra contrast around below the masking fluid areas. Okay, and I think I'm happy with what I have right now and I'll give it a last quick dry. Now let's remove the masking fluid. 
Okay, so the masking fluid is removed and we can start painting the flamingo. And I'm going back to this reference photo to follow and paint in some of the shadow areas of the flamingo. And I'm going to use, instead of orange, I'll be painting red. And then the pink areas where the highlights is, I'm going to use orange for those. And I'm just painting according to brush strokes following the direction of the feathers. And then we have some orange on the body. I'm going to blend this out. I'm going to add a little bit of neutral tint to get a bit of purple. For the shadows. And then using purple, I'm going in to define the feathers. And a bit here for the neck. And I'm just doing a lot of brush strokes like this to paint out the illusion of the feathers. Dot. And then let's paint in the reflection from the legs. Just grab a very light shade of red and then paint in the legs. And then we have this flamingo at the back, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of details onto the shape to show 
and define the body Okay, and then here I feel that this is too much. I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Maybe th make it thinner. Okay, and we are done with our painting. Let's finish off with some white details. And I'll be grabbing a white ink pen. So I'll be adding this in the darker areas at the back. And then some, some dots. Maybe a bit more yellow. So just play around, add more details where you think can do a bit more. Okay, and we are done. And to finish off, don't forget to sign in. So this is what my version looks like. And I really enjoyed painting this, having fun with all the different, different colors of splashes that we get here. And just to show you, this is what I did earlier. And you can see that both results look very different. They're not the same every time. Do experiment and play around. If you're feeling unmotivated or running out of ideas what to paint, do give this a try. This is a very fun project to drive up and kickstart your juices again. So have fun painting. And I would love to see your works. Do share them with me. Tag me on Instagram or even on Facebook. And happy painting. I'll see you next week. Bye.